No one likes flooding. Whether it's happened in your basement or your backyard before, typically nothing good comes from it. Throughout the years, we've seen the extreme detrimental impacts from flooding, mainly brought about by heavy rainfall, hurricanes, or dam failures. Heavy rainfall and river flooding are top indicators of global climate change. And unfortunately, as the climate continues to change, we can expect to experience more frequent and more intense storms, resulting in more flooding. Here in North Carolina each year, it is a common sight, especially in the low-lying coastal plains, to see homes, businesses, and farms devastated by floodwaters, mainly brought about by hurricanes. Hurricane Matthew in 2016 and Hurricane Florence in 2018 hit the same agricultural communities back to back, taking 85 human lives and causing $17.6 billion in losses, much of which were agricultural crops and livestock. These communities can no longer afford to experience the repercussions from flooding. So what do we do? What if I told you that we could farm the floodwaters? Farming is about knowing the lay of the land and working with the lay land and livestock to make the most out of what we can. What if I told you that there is a method that could redefine the concepts of farming? The method is called water farming, and my research hypothesizes that it is the solution to mitigating our future floodwaters. Water farming uses natural land features as opposed to traditional human engineered systems that are made from concrete, such as dams or levees. Traditional human engineered systems are highly hazardous, outdated, and have failed to function when needed the most. Nature-based practices are a more sustainable approach to flood mitigation. So you're probably wondering, what does a natural defense system to flood management look like? Well, there are a variety of approaches, such as restoring wetlands, planting forested areas, and expanding floodplains. Nature-based solutions like forests and wetlands can slow down water flow from storms and store water for an extended period of time. In fact, I have found that water flow can be reduced by more than 30% at downstream if nature-based practices are employed. My research focuses on the top and most effective water farming practices for individual landowners and agricultural communities in Eastern North Carolina. We have coined our line of work FloodWise, and our FloodWise program ensures landowners with the educational tools and financial incentives for adopting nature-based practices on their properties. Dear audience, flooding and storms will continue, and we must be prepared. We must take precautionary measures and invest in FloodWise. Thank you.